with just a small shift in the layout of my office, it really made a huge difference in its style, spacing, and design. In this video, I'll show you how a couple of key changes I made to my office design, some new accessories, and a few simple additions really helped expand my space. While working from home over the last year, I found my previous layout to be less than ideal. It had a lot of wasted space, and despite all of its shortcomings, the spacing, the color palette, light coming from behind the window, oddly enough, none of that bothered me as much as this. So I set out to make a few simple yet effective design and layout changes to optimize this small room without taking away any items. In fact, I'd be adding more cabinets and storage while creating more useful space. The placement of my desk was a cornerstone to all my design decisions. This required switching positions with my filing cabinet. I also took the opportunity to upgrade my standing desk to the Autonomous Pro in white. My office is only 12 feet at the widest point. I needed only about 4 feet of space behind my desk for comfortable seating and mobility. I like my original walnut tabletop so I plan on keeping it and swapping it over to the new frame. Most importantly, for my color scheme, I decided to focus on a modern white and walnut combination. I finally upgraded to the Ergotron HX, which was something I had been holding off for a while. The white color gave it a clean and seamless look while providing an elegant floating screen and unrivaled versatility. It's a monitor arm I can trust to pivot and turn to extreme positions. I plan on using this for unboxing videos or future YouTube videos, but more on that later. As an integral part of this white and walnut look, I added an IKEA Alex drawer for much needed extra storage. The key is to make this look like an extension of my desk, giving me larger surface area to work with. The height can be adjusted with legs if needed, and the width closely match my desktop. It's not perfect, but it's close enough. My favorite addition was slightly unorthodox, as I picked this up from the IKEA toy section. This toy storage bench was a perfect size for the small space that I had. Not only was this a great way to add additional storage for my larger items, but it also acts as a clean surface for video and product photography. For times when I need tips or tutorials on design, filming, or even hobbies like coffee, Skillshare is a great place to find online classes from experts around the world. Yes, there may be free content on YouTube and other platforms, but for a more structured approach, Skillshare provides curated content and geared towards learning specifically. The first 1,000 users to sign up in the link below will get one month free of premium membership. No obligations. The biggest lesson I learned about shelving is that it must blend seamlessly with the room, the position, the style, the sizing need to make sense so they look like they were built into the space. These simple white shelves are from Amazon and Ikea, and you can find similar ones just about anywhere. This Grove made shelf is unique. It's a beautiful oak finish, and the design makes it easy to mount on your walls even if they are uneven, since most walls are. I keep my shelves shallow as to not take up space and use for display mostly instead of storage. I don't have much in ways of displays and collectibles. I try group items in ones or threes in order to create interest. This old click and grow fits perfectly on this ledge, giving me some unique smart decor as well as fresh basil. To give a more finished look, I grabbed an extra walnut sideboard from IKEA to match as my top panel for my storage bench. Giving me a nice option for photography, videos, or just unboxing my packages. One new tech item that I recently received is the Anchor Work All-in-One Webcam. This webcam has a nice sleek look and has a built-in light, speaker, mic, and camera all-in-one. And I love consolidating. I've replaced my monitor light bar and although the brightness of this light is not as comparable as a screen bar, my new setup gives me substantial lighting so this will do. It has a max 2K resolution, a wide-angle lens, connects via USB-C, and works great as an all-in-one for those who need simple and effective solutions. So what else is on my desk? The MX3 mouse is still the best productivity mouse I've used to date, so no changes from previous years. 
For my keyboard, I've decided to switch out my Keychron K3 to the Logitech Craft, which pairs nicely with the mouse. This low profile keyboard feels compact and gives me a dial to work with when editing videos or photos. I am still using the autonomous Ergo Chair 2 from a couple of years ago and it's held up quite nicely for me. As mentioned, I had upgraded my standing desk to the autonomous Smart Desk Pro, which allows bigger range of height and adjustments and was better for my ergonomics overall. One new and interesting find was a simple modular under the desk mount, which I used to hold an external hard drive and I can potentially add more later. This helped me keep the surface clutter free. This is a CBS Flow monitor mount. I like the high quality build and low profile look. This was a very pricey item that I could not justify buying new, which I'm using to hold my Gigabyte Aero 15 inch, which is what I'm currently using as my main system. So I found a used one on eBay for under $100 it's been amazing. Very fluid movements, very sturdy. Shows some blemishes which I can take care of later. I'm still using the Dell UltraSharp 38 inch wide monitor I got a couple of years ago. All of my peripherals and devices go through my Belkin Thunderbolt 3 dock. I use it as a central node to connect my monitor and extra storage so I don't have to reach over to my laptop. When it comes to cable management, I primarily still depend on the cable tray to do all the heavy lifting. I added some ties to run wires under the desk and white cable wraps to make things look neat. But most importantly, just like in the previous videos, using a J-channel to cover up the mess. This time I've upgraded to a screw mounted magnet to go with a metal channel. This makes it quick and easy to pop the cover on and off for easy access. Not to mention, it gives it a nice clean look. Adding some nice wooden holders and accessories around the office really adds to the convenience and productivity of the day-to-day -day activities. And the placement of shelves really made the office look a bit more cohesive and less busy. Before this, my working space was definitely limited, it felt cramped and underutilized. Keeping the same desk and adding two cabinets, new arrangement makes this office look a lot bigger than it really is and gives it more space to work with. The white and wood finish really gives it a nice and clean contrast, meanwhile adding more lightness to the room which also makes the room appear larger. The lighting I've installed is not yet integrated into the room, so I'm going to leave that for the next and upcoming videos. For now, I've included links to all the items in my room. Feel free to comment if I've missed anything. As always, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.